Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my vegan, eco-cautious, eco-friendly handbag. Um, I bought second hand and I was looking forward to getting it. I actually have went through a long process of getting this back to me. <clears throat> so first, I had bought one off eBay. Um, it was black, beautiful, and um, I submitted an offer, the seller took it, it came to me, and the item was not the one in the description. It was actually a fake. I contacted the seller, they're like, no, it is the same one. I'm like, no, I have proof that what you sent and what I have are not the same thing. So anyways, eBay had me send it back. They get my money back, so that worked out great. Then I stopped looking for the handbag. Um, one day I was just online and I saw a beautiful, bright colored uh, snake print bag. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna submit an offer. I submitted it, it was in great condition. Um, and the seller decided to take my offer. So that was exciting. Then she shipped the bag and the bag never got here. I mean, it was tracking, it was shipped, they took the funds out of my account, but the post office lost the package. So then I contacted the third party company that we went through, they opened a ticket and they had the same answer from the post office that the package was lost. So then I contacted the seller, she also opened a ticket and the post office told her that they had lost the package um, and there was not much we could do about it. So that was really unfortunate. I mean, she got her money, I was out of my money and I didn't have a bag. So then I went to the local post office. I told them what happened. Like here's my tracking information. Here's my order number. I am the person that bought it. And the last time it was tracked was on like July 19th or something like that. And I had bought it, I believe, the end of June or beginning of July. And it was shipped with three days shipping, so it should have been taken that long. So by July 31st, they got back to me saying that the item was lost and that I should contact the company that I bought it from to get back a refund because there is no insurance in the package and I was just basically out of luck. So I said, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna contact the company that I bought it from, which I did and uh, which was Poshmark. They went ahead and opened the ticket and they looked into, into the package and decided to give me a refund, which is awesome. But I was still bummed out because I really, really wanted this bag. Um, and it was gonna be something different in my closet. So I decided to go back to the post office and I said, look. So at this point, I already have my refund, but what if the item does show up? I mean, the, my case closed. Talked to the manager, the manager had called me back a few days later and she said, you know, we have open tickets where the last time it was tracked at, which I think it was Florida, and uh, they can't find it. So, and right now, mind you, we are on August 13th, 14th. Um, so I said, okay, fine, whatever. It is what it is. I have my money back. Um, I'll just have to buy another bag. So I went about my life. And lo and behold, just yesterday, I get a notification while I'm at work that there is somebody in my front door. And I look on my ring and yes, somebody was delivering a box from the post office. So then I called my boyfriend. I was like, hey, do you have something come in the mail for you? He said, no, usually I tell you. I'm like, well, there's nothing that I ordered recently and it's my bag, guys. The bag finally showed up and I'm just so excited to show it to you. It's Estella McCartney. If you haven't heard of her, she does great designs and she's very like eco-cautious, um, environmentally friendly products and does not use any real leather and she actually manufactures her own fabrics to make her stuff. So the dust bag alone, it is 100% authentic. 
I actually had my boyfriend open the box while I was at work and we FaceTime because I was like, I think it's the bag that's been lost for almost two months. So here she is. Oops. Oh my gosh. I just love it. Look at this. This is the medium size. I tried to get my boyfriend to try it on for me, but he didn't want to. He just said you can do that when you get home. So I had to wait like four hours. But anyways, you can wear it different ways. I like how it has a long shoulder strap. Then it has the two handles, so you can kind of carry it like this or like this. And what I like most about it um, is I can carry it as a clutch if I wanted to. I think it looks really cute, just, you know, holding it. Not with this outfit, but, you know, when I want to go out. It's in actually in really good condition. I have seen some other ones where the the top layer is like peeling off. This one is not. She said she had it for a few months. Um, also, I've seen where the hardware is like uh, tarnished and discolored. This one is very well. I mean, it has a few scratches on the keychain here, but nothing big. And the inside is very clean too. There's nothing torn. I believe Stella McCartney started her brand in 2001. And that's usually what her label looks like. I'm not sure how to read them, but it is authentic. Had it authenticated the day it got here. Um, the one that I had originally bought on eBay that turned out to be a fake and was not the item in the description, it was black and the Stella McCartney was extremely faded and like just the material felt really off. I already knew the minute I took it out that it was fake. So that's like the same day I got it, maybe within the first hour, I emailed the seller like this is not what I got and this is not what I thought I was buying. I actually wanted a blush pink or a black purse with the gold hardware. But then I saw this one and just caught my eye and I kept thinking about it. So then I went back and I didn't offer the moment I saw one pop up with a great deal. And this is the medium size. I think they make a mini, small, medium, and a large. And it's called the Fella Bella. But I think the three chain version of it only comes up to the medium size, which is um, sometimes confused for the large. I have, have seen the large come in the just the regular two chain, which I might like one of those later, but I'm not sure. I just really like this. I can't wait to wear it. I think it's perfect for summer, and I just think it will make any outfit just pop. Yeah. So anyways, that was my long story on this handbag, but it's finally here. I'm extremely excited, and I guess in a sense, I got a free bag which you can never be too mad about, obviously. So if you have a Fella Bella like this, or just a Fella Bella period, let me know how you like it. Uh, what do you put in it? Do they sell shapers for this? I'm not sure, since it's kind of a slouchy look, or a slouchy bag. Um, I don't know, let me know your thoughts about it. Um, if you own Stella McCartney products, let me know how durable they are. This is my first one. Obviously it's secondhand. I did not buy a new. I believe these retail for like minimum a thousand dollars. I've seen some for like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. So I just also decided to buy secondhand because one, it's not real leather and I don't know much about the company to want to go ahead and invest in an item right off the back of a thousand dollars plus. And it was a great deal, like I said, and I don't know how durable they are. I don't know anybody else that has them. I have seen people out and about, but I've never owned one, nor do I know anyone that has one, like I said. So yeah, just let me know your thoughts, and if you have one, let me know all about it. So far, from what I know of Stella McCartney, it's a company that's very focused in giving back to its environment and making sure that we're not using animals to make you know designer stuff, but still giving you a great looking item with handmade or manufactured products that are not hurting the environment to give us lovely things that we can use and love. Also, um, 
I had contacted Stella McCartney online because I had a question about um, authenticating a handbag. And to my surprise, they are one of the only designer companies that if you email them, they are be happy that if you email them, they will be happy to help you authenticate the handbag um, because they are about you know, eco-friendliness and recycling versus throwing stuff in the trash or it ending up somewhere where it shouldn't. So I think that's really awesome. Um, I sent pictures of the first bag that I bought and they said based on the photos I submitted, they cannot validate that it was authentic. And they were very helpful, they were very nice, and I think the turnaround time for them to reply back to me was 48 hours. So, so far, I've had a great experience and I didn't buy directly from them. I bought secondhand and they were still very kind to me. So I hope this video helps. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.